Hey guys, Justin with 702pros.com here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change out your logo in your wordpress.org website. This isn't specifically for wordpress.com. They might be the same, but I'm not sure. Um, so wordpress.org, you probably would have got it through your hosting company and you're like, okay, you know, wh where do I go from here? The first thing you're probably gonna do is put in your logo. You know, the, typically that's what I would start out with and then build the web website around that. So uh, we're going to get started on a screencast here in a minute. But uh, before I get started, if you have any requests for other videos or if you want some elaboration on building your WordPress website past the logo, please leave us a comment below. And, uh, and especially for uh, new plugin videos, if you, want, if you have a new plugin that you want to try out, uh, we can give you reviews on it. We can help you pick plugins because some plugins are better than others. Some might give you viruses and some are a little more reputable. So if you need, if you have any questions on those plugins, please let me know. Uh, you can either leave a comment below or email me at 702pros at gmail.com. Okay, so we're going to get started in the screencast in one, two, three. All right, guys, so we're on our WordPress website, and uh, the first thing we're going to have to do is log in. So I'm going to go up to the top, and right behind, double-click behind your domain, and type in slash WP admin. And that's going to bring you to a login page. So then you're going to put in your login credentials, and you can click Remember Me, and then select Login. Now you're going to be on the dashboard, and um, if you want a video on the dashboard, please leave me a comment, and I can go more elaboration on what you find in the dashboard, but we're going to specifically go to the Appearance tab, Customize to change out the logo. So just go to Appearance, hover over, then go to Customize, and left-click. Okay. Now, uh, over here you have some options. Usually, typically at the top, I mean, I think every time at the top you'll see site identity. And usually the logo would be in the site identity. It would say logo. And, and typically it'll give you some, some preferences, size. Um, but in this one, it only has a site icon. That's the, the fav icon that you see at the top. Um, like you could see it here on YouTube um, where I'm hovering over and then Facebook has it and then our website has one. But this one we didn't put one in for. It's just kind of a test site. So if we go back, um, sometimes it'll be in different spots, but it'll usually be in the 99% of the time it should be in the customized area where we are. And most of the time, like I said, it's in the site identity, but in this theme specifically, which this is the photo line light theme as we're reusing. Uh, if you go down, it's in logo image. So if you just mess around with this customize area, you should be able to find it. But like I was saying before, it's usually in site identity except for this one. So, so go to logo image and then uh, logo image goes here. So we're going to select, so it says for the option of a round frame best suited. So usually you'll have a description. You don't really have to worry about this one because yours is going to be a little bit different. But it'll give you some parameters like no wider than 300 pixels wide. And those are just those are just kind of presets. You can put in whatever size you want. But it, they, they typically look the best if you kind of follow along with what the theme's saying. So we're going to go down and select go to select image and this will bring up some photos um, so if you have your logo already installed which you probably don't uh, you could find it in here if you do but if you don't we're gonna go to upload file and then go to select files and then we're going to find um, a logo let's see just gonna put in so for right now, I'll put in this one. And this is probably off because I don't think it's the right dimensions, but uh, we'll go ahead and try it. So 
after you put that in, it's always a good idea, a little off topic, but put in a, a title. So 702 Pros, you know, web design, something like that, and then dash logo. This is for, you might have heard of this term, search engine optimization. So this is going to optimize your photos. So put in the title, and then I just control, or hold, hold down control, and then A, and then hold down control C, and that copies it and then click down here control V and that's on a, a Windows device Mac I think it's command the same things command A command C command V <laughs> okay and then um, so I always put in title alt description or alt text and then description um, I wouldn't worry about the caption that that show that typically like if you put an image in and you put that in it will show the the caption underneath the image so sometimes you don't want that uh, unless you specifically want text underneath the image then you would put it in here it's not going to show it on the logo but other images because this is how you do all of your images in in wordpress and uh, i can make another video going more into depth than images if you'd like because um, that could be a whole video as well Okay, so we're going to skip the caption and then just go to choose image. All right, so now it put in our image there. All right, no frame logo. So this had, I mean, if you're interested in this uh, theme, which I don't think this is a really, really good one, specifically which just kind of a test one that we test uh, plugins on and stuff and that's a good idea as well to have a, a test um, theme for for before you go live with your website to test things on so um, when you're done with that make sure a little off topic but be, be, when you're done make sure and select save and publish and while I got you here, let's go back to that. So I click the back button and then go to site identity. And like I was saying, typically you'll see the logo um, right here above the site icon. And then you'll see at the bottom site icon. And that's that fab icon at the top. So um, I, let's put that in. And it's pretty easy. So select image. And if you want to use the same thing as your logo, you can. So do your logo first and then this typically um, because you might have to crop it. But So we're going to go here, uh, select that, and then go to select. And then you can, like I was saying, you can crop, make it you know, tighter in there if you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to leave it full size for right now. So usually you just, you, you'd bring this in if you wanted to and then select cropped image. But I'm going to leave it the same and... I still have to select crop, crop image and as you can see it, it brought it to the top if you look at, at the top there you should see the same thing if you don't leave me a comment uh, with like a link to your website and I'll check it out for you okay so um, after you do anything on here this is the customize tab uh, make sure and save and publish so now let's go to the front end of the website because right now we're we're still technically on the back end. So to do that, you're going to press the X. Then you're going to go up to, this is should be the name of your website. You can click this or you can click hover and click visit site. And this will bring you to the front end. And your logo might not be centered. It might be to the left. It all depends on your theme. Okay, so that's how you add a logo to your WordPress website. Uh, thank you for watching. If you, again, if you have a comment, please leave it below. Okay. See you next time.